Hello, hello, assalamu alaikum and welcome back to El Sutra Essentials. My name is Bokisa Ali. You highly, highly welcome back to my channel on this blog about preparing for Ramadan. Hey, Ramadan Mubarak in advance. Oh my god, I am just all over the place. I'm all over the moon because I cannot wait for Ramadan. Ramadan period is one of the most important and most exciting period for the Muslim Ummah because um, this is the month we worship God a lot. This is the month we are more conscious of our Creator. And this is the month we give charity. This is the month we are bonded with family. This is the month we are bonded with friends as well because we um, usually have a charity together with friends and stuff like that. Oh my God. It's just, you know, amazing. And because we get to be more closer to our Creator by um, doing a lot of worshiping, this is the month the Quran. And it's revealed our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so I cannot say enough about Ramadan and how much it is important for every Muslim in this world so with all this being said um, Ramadan is coming I mean I think it's gonna be here in about three weeks to come so, um, just to do a little bit of unboxing with you guys I have um, some cushion covers here that I bought for Ramadan. Um, okay, there is two in here because I opened it. Yeah. So here, this first one say Happy Ramadan. And I try to go with the same shades because last year what I used was different colors of um, cushion covers, pillowcases covers, and this one says Ramadan Kareem. And it has the Arabic writing of Ramadan Kareem as well, and the uh, picture of the masjid there. They're just so pretty. So this is the same with this one, and this one the same with this one. I already have so much decos for Ramadan, so there is no need to buy much. But I'm going to do. I want to switch my decoration, like. Um, not almost the same from last year and i also got this from dalarama oh my gosh i'm so excited seeing these lights they have silver they have white and they have this color gold so this is what it looks like when you light it up it says try me right here and i bought two so let me show you this one that i just opened so this is what it looks like so I bought two pieces. I am hoping to do to put it on all together so we can have more lights. And let's do this. <laughs> How cute is this? So as you can see from this um, image that what I started doing was painting my walls. Um, I'm sure from my previous video, if you have watched my life as a mom, um, you have seen that my daughter has painted my wall and so I decided to paint the entire um, living room, my hallways where all she did the painting. So I already have some paint left from when the house was made so and it is a matching color so i didn't have to go through all those troubles so now i am going to be painting the entire walls and it's going to take me about two days to do this because i am doing the living room a day and then the hallways the next day i'm also going to be touching up in the bathroom they are all the same paint the rooms have um different paintings so i'm not going to do those one right now maybe i'm going to wait until very close to ramadan for me to do those ones Is going to be better than this right now. This is what we have. Wow, I am 
so impressed. Guys, look at that. This looks so good. Well, like it blended in so good. Like, I have no complaint over this. I didn't go all the way, but you can hardly see the little line that separated the new paint and the old paint. I need to buy white to touch it on this, um, on the wall, on the pavement. I need to touch on those ones because I've been touching them with the green and especially it's, it's a bit dirty as well. So I'm going to buy white paint do that oh my goodness i am so impressed oh i love this yep this is one of the difficult part of my house recently um there is another shelf here obviously it's here but it broke so my shoes are really suffering i need to do something about it so what i did is i have this um cat but it was in my storage in my pantry so i remove everything from it so first of all i'm just going to remove everything i will take away everything clean it up and then rearrange so yeah starting here from the door usually when we come out this is where we remove the shoes especially during the winter now that the snow is bad and you get a lot of sand coming in so we have this um little princess um shoe rack in the kids room so i got it out because i have something different for them this summer and uh what i did is i just put um some of their casual shoes here in case if they run off following me or their dad to go outside and then i also got their um rain boots here and these are rumblers um school boots and these are just my casual boots as well and i have our from um, the running sneakers here and i have our temperature um winter boots up there too because when we come back we usually just keep them here and i have some bathroom slippers over there in case if we remove our shoes and we need to come down these days um so we have some shoes to keep so this is what i have upstairs for the shoes right now and then i'll show you what i have for our shoe rack downstairs <laughs> And this is where I put on on top of my fridge. I just put the things that are on top of it here. I arranged everything. Um, this ranges from disposable cups, straws, um, ziplocs, candies, snacks, um, some stuff. And then here too. So I put um, some of the stuff here in this drawer, um, the kids snacks and everything. So I arranged everything and um, here as well. So I just tried to put back um, the pantry into the kitchen and I'm going to use the pantry cart now to make it my shura. And this is the second day me doing the hallway um, I'm going to go all the way to the end of the wall and also into the bathrooms. so these are the curtains that i bought and i actually bought um four pieces but i'm taking them back because for some reason they are short i measured with my window it is only 38 by 84 inches it is short for my window so 
I'm thinking of even changing the color because this when I put it in the house it blended exactly like my paint color so I want to take them to the store and I'm contemplating whether to just take black or to take this kind of shade from the kitchen Jenny side it Welcome back to another vlog. Welcome to Ramadan preparation for me, especially for the house. I'm getting the house ready for Ramadan and I'm doing a lot of cleaning. So, um, yeah, we're going to go through a lot of things for getting ready for Ramadan. So let's do it. Assalamu alaikum. So this was the state of my living room. I have my dining chairs on the side because I just finished mopping the floor. I um swept it and i mopped it um so what i realized is that um my my couches has been sitting this way sorry about that one i was moving and i moved everything around so um but this couch needs to go to one of the side and on this side i don't wanna i think i'm gonna put it on this side because there's already too much there because i want to have this wall to myself to do some decoration and i'm also going to do some decoration around the fireplace um the fireplace you're seeing that way i did the painting um the spray paint but it's not a colored match so i need to find another paint to repaint it rahimash I need to find another paint to repaint it so because it's looking like um, different colors right now i already folded my carpet over there i'm going to clean it later um i will be moving all these things together with you guys so you see what i'm doing and it just has um this kind of good feeling you know when you move your furniture around and your house have a different vibe especially when it is a different season so i will encourage everyone to try and do that if you are trying to do decoration for Ramadan or anything, just try to switch your space around and have a different element, different vibe. I'm sorry, my kids are having fun here. Um, they are making noise in the video, but um, let's do it. Let's go. So there's going to be two panels. Um, the mirror over there, I'm going to move it somewhere.
Yeah, don't close the door. Good job, Rahim and At this point, I am sorting my laundry and I'm sorting out clothes for donation because as much as it's um, becoming Ramadan, you want to do a lot of charity, you want to get rid of a lot of things and give it out to the people that are in need of those. And um, yeah, it's just part of my routine each time I did laundry, especially the kids' laundry because they outgrown clothes so fast and so easily. I just decide to keep a box for donation all the time to sort out their clothes. Finally, this is everything from the drawer. This is everything from the drawer, so I will be sorting them while I'm keeping is gonna go into the blue basket and what is going out of this bathroom is going into the gray basket. So let's do that right now. I just I just bought some Ramadan pillows, pillow covers. I can't wait. That. Oh, you cannot see all of it, but I will show you later. It's so so cute. Look at that Ramadan green. Point, I sliced all my detox, um, my detox fruits and vegetables that I do detox with um, into the dehydrator to dry them up because usually I just boil them and have extracted the juice and be taking it with honey is actually really good Ooh, for guys, the look thing. at this I have dry ginger ginger is dry Garlic is dry. Oh my. It smells amazing. And look at this red and chips. And kiwi. Kiwi is dry. It is amazing. I put a bit of oil for this now. And look at the kiwi. Look at the mango. Have the lemon here. Just leaving it to dry some more. This is what I have finally. I have my lemons, my dry ginger, my tea, my kiwi, my garlic.
hello again um so thank you so much for joining me on this journey on how i do my ramadan prayer for the house um you actually saw me um cleaning the outside of the fridge i am also going to be cleaning the inside i'm going to be waiting until a week before ramadan after i finish all my um kitchen preparation for ramadan then i will clean the fridge entirely from head to toe so i am also going to be doing that so if you have um plans you can also wash your fridge so get rid of everything ahead of time because you know ramadan time we um we are putting a lot of food in the refrigerator so you can also do that um the same time um my next video inshallah is going to be more of um kitchen preparation for ramadan and also spiritual preparation for ramadan inshallah i will be bringing you that video really really soon so stay blessed and keep um keep planning for ramadan make sure you have your goals set up for ramadan and make sure you have realistic goals for ramadan inshallah me allah spare our lives to witness this ramadan 2022 and many more years to come so jazakallah khairan and assalamu alaikum Bye.